Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an overview as well as a cooking demonstration with this Rosewill 5.5 cup Fuzzy Logic rice cooker model RHRC-13001. Here are some quick specs from the retail box. This is a 700 watt unit, 1 liter or 5.5 cups. Comes with an LCD display with digital control and a plastic body, a thick black non-stick coated inner pot, three-dimensional heating, steaming control technology to prevent leaking and keep rice moisture and nutrition in, and you also get a plastic st steamer with a scoop and measuring cup as well. Multifunction options are also listed, and then finally it has an IMD injection plastic panel to prevent distortion over time. Inside the box, along with the rice cooker itself, you get a couple serving utensils, and these also come with small clips that can be attached to the side of the rice cooker for easy storage when not in use. You also get a white AC power cable, a measuring cup that can be used to measure up to a cup of rice or water, or anything else I suppose, and you also get a user's manual as well as an insert for how to use the rice cooker as a clay pot cooker. And here's a look at the rice cooker itself. As you can see, it's got a very convenient lifting handle located right up on the top, so you can lift it up and spin it around or relocate it if necessary. AC adapter plug is right there in the back, and then flipping it back to the front here, there is a removable steam vent up here on the top, so you can pop that off to clean it out, which is very convenient. And then by simply pushing the button here, the lid will open up to reveal the interior. We have a steam tray that's included. We're going to be demonstrating this in just a moment when we do our cooking test. And then we also have the internal rice cooking pot. As you can see, it is black and nonstick, and it does have some measurements listed in there going up to 5.5 cups. So you can more easily uh, determine the level of water or other liquid or food that you're putting into the rice cooker. There's an LED clock on the front of the rice cooker and that will stay on even when the rice cooker is unplugged so it will maintain the time. You also have very large start and keep warm buttons, a menu button, cooking timer button, independent buttons for adjusting the hours and minutes, as well as presets for doing certain things like browning, steaming, or making things like cake or porridge, as well as an off button. So now for a quick co cooking demonstration. Uh, first off, I've gone ahead and rinsed uh, the items that came in the box since this uh, rice cooker was brand new. I'm gonna remove the steaming tray for the time being. And then I have my rice here, which I've already pre-washed. I'm going to add that into the bottom using about a cup and a half of, half of rice and about a cup and a half of water. So I'll add the water into that next. Just give that a quick swish around. And now we're going to go ahead and start the cooking process. Now, since we're using the clay pot method here, I'm actually going to uh, hit the menu button to move the little arrow indicator here over to brown. And then I'm going to go ahead and start the cooking process. We're going to give that just a few minutes. Now, at the same time while that's doing, I'm going to go ahead and prep um, my vegetables and my chicken here for steaming because that's the whole idea is to cook all of this together at the same time. Now we've got pre-cooked chicken, but uh, this uh, rice cooker is capable of cooking meats as well. Just make sure that you're cooking your meats to the proper temperatures as recommended by the FDA. From there, we're going to go ahead and just add our veggies into the steaming tray right here. Got a little bit of potatoes. We've got some broccoli and we've got some carrots. And then we'll go ahead and add the little bit of chicken in there as well, making a very nice meal here fit to feed a whole family. All right, now at this point, we're gonna let this rest a moment and we're gonna wait for the rice cooker to tell us that the rice is uh, done, or at least done to the point where we can add this tray. It's gonna do that by indicating with a beep. So now, as you can probably hear, the rice cooker has been giving us our warning beep. So we're gonna go ahead and take the rest of our materials, open up the top right here, pop that in, and then it will continue cooking. So now that our food is done, I can go ahead and remove the steaming tray right there. So we have the rice inside, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and serve some up. And since this is the browning function, you'll notice you'll get a bit of the uh, kind of crispy around the edges, a bit of crispiness on the rice. That is by design. You do have other cooking options available in here, so you can get uh, rice cooked a bit more traditionally for white rice, for example. I also want to point out we're using uh, white rice here to cook, but we're using the brown setting um, so that we'll cook the veggies and everything as well. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and serve myself up some chicken. 
and some carrots. Food presentation is my forte. Broccoli. And there you have it guys, we've now used our rice cooker to create a full meal ready to eat. And that's going to wrap it up for this video guys. Once again, this has been the Rosewell 5.5 cup Fuzzy Logic Rice Cooker model RHRC13001. I'm Paul with Newegg TV and if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to any of our various YouTube channels for more content just like this. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.